And it's just, again, it was just a beautiful time uh, just to be around people whose minds I respect and, and enjoy and they inspire me. Uh, because prior to that, I've been feeling negative about comedy just when seeing everything going on with, you know, the Joe Rogan stuff with, with people putting together the super cut of him being racist and saying the N-word a bunch and, and the Planet of the Apes thing, which to me is the most damning of the things because, you know, I get it sometimes. I, oh, trust me, I've been in comedy for a long time. And if you've been been in comedy for a long time you've been in open mics in portland oregon or you've been open mics in anywhere where it's predominantly white you run into that type of comic that is like that's what is intriguing to them it gives them a sense of power it gives them a sense of uh of feeling like they are untouchable or that they are above social norms or that they are smarter than everyone else because this word that normally other people won't use, especially if they are white or Caucasian, they feel like they are brave and strong and different because they will say it. And to me, that is not brave or strong. That is just uh, lacking of empathy and rude to people and just being uh, a shock jock for no reason. But it never offended me. That does not offend me. Uh, what uh, I, I'm, you know, there's parts of me, there's parts of things I, I truly respect and enjoy about Joe Rogan. I enjoy his inter, uh, entre, entrepreneurial spirit. I enjoy the, his grinding spirit. I enjoy his true love of stand up comedians. And I think that is something that is, is great. But I, as a black man, am never going to cape and defend, or, which is funny because people were DMing me on, Instagram being like, you better I hope you stick. You was on Joe Rogan show twice. You better stick up for him. And I'm like, are you seriously a white person that I don't know asking a black man to stand up for a white man saying who has a hundred million dollars and is old to say nigga? That will never happen. That that will never happen in my life. I'm too proud to be black to be like, yeah, you know what? <laughs> He can say it though. That's never gonna come out of my mouth. Uh, but that's not even what offended me. You know, people are people. People say dumb shit, and and I try to judge people from how they treat me in particular. But what really bothered me is seeing a lot of the, uh people who I consider my coworkers and my comedian friends. Um, that none of them were like, oh, that's bad behavior, or um, oh, we still love this guy, but that's not something we can tolerate. They were just like posting pictures of them together being with hearts and smiley faces and little angel glittery emojis and shit. And I understand the sentiment there of like, oh, we're together as comedians, we're together. But I think sometimes when you do that type of shit, you don't look at the fact that uh, you're making people like myself and other people of color and other uh, people who are marginalized feel like you you're basically saying. Yeah, we, yeah, they got like an eight minute super cut of him saying nigga, but he put me on the podcast, so fuck black people. So that's pretty much what I hear when I see that type of shit. And it just gives you an eye opening of like, okay, um, as much as people try to act like comedy is this big family and this big group and da 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 da, uh, you see like, uh, who really has your back sometimes and who really don't. And I understand sometimes, you know, uh, I guess it's a choice to defend the uh, the hundred millionaire over uh, in, in, in free speech over a general racism and uh, words that make people feel horrible and, and make them feel less than or, uh, you know, just treating people as if they are animals. But uh, if they got a bunch of money and uh, you agree with them in other ways, I guess that's something you can just look over. That's, so that's what it feels like. It just feels like you're going like, uh, yeah. Who he said it, but guess what? Uh, I like his platform. Uh, and I say this shit to his face. And hopefully I will get to say it to his face. And I will go on his fucking podcast to say because I've been on there twice. And, uh, you know, I got respect for Joe. I hope he has respect for me, but I have no respect for that shit that he said. And I have no respect for the people who um, blindly back that shit up as opposed to uh, at least in some form saying that's not cool uh you know because there, there wasn't much of the that's not cool it was more a lot of like well you know you should be able comedians jobs is to take you uh to the edge of insanity walk you right to that line and then turn you around three times put a blindfold on you in a baseball bat in your hand and point you towards a pinata that is filled with tears and injustice and then tell you to swing 
for it. That's my job as a comedian. <laughs> so- <laughs> A lot of people say a lot of weird ass shit to justify bigotry and racism. And all I can say is sometimes old fucking motherfuckers say dumb fucking shit and they should be called upon it. And I hope you learn and uh, grow from your mistakes. Ah, uh, happy Black History Month. It's. Been- <laughs> it's about-